Ignore what Hargon said. There's no such thing as a god of destruction. I'm only going to prepare for the trip out of here. No, the outside spell doesn't actually work. At any point in the dungeon. You know, even though we're only a little bit hurt, it's kind of dumb to not heal up completely. We'll just go ahead and take care of that. And finish off one of these prayer rings. Oh well, it didn't break. Crap. Ah, uh, really? No, no, there's totally God of Destruction and we're totally boned. Uh, prepare for the fight against Malroth. Or, as the strange translation calls him, Shidor! I have no idea why he's called Shidor. Well, I want to make sure I have that lightning sword on still. Because that's really the only way I'm going to deal damage. Increase, defense, pretty standard. And hope to God I don't get murdered. Like that! Oh my god, that does so much damage! Malaroth can do a fainting attack, or I think he puts you to sleep with it. That Scorching Breath you just saw that does like a hundred damage. Actually, I think more, because king has got magic armor on. Uh, heal all, defense, and increase. Yay, we're so fucked. Um... I'm having a hard time deciding what to do here. Just trying to not get murdered. Murder, kill, death. Good. Heal and heal. Oh, thank god. Oh, he can also get two attacks in. I'm almost entirely certain he, get t he can swing at you twice. And heal more rolling. Get that defense back up. I would be happy if he spent the whole fight trying to lower my defense. That would be great. You know, instead of taking advantage of his incredible violent blaze breath. Yeah, if you're playing the NES version, you're really going to want to take advantage of that uh, double flying water cloth glitch so you can survive that with both your casters. Because that's the best armor in the game, period. Like, I think that's even better than the Roto's armor. Because Rogue's Armor might have more physical defense, but that thing protects you from so much fire damage, it's more valuable, at least to me. Dear God. Um. Actually, this defense is so low, the Falcon Sword may do a lot of damage now. Oh. Well, yeah, I'll play it safe. I'll have him heal the hero, and the princess heal herself. Oh, Jesus! 3 HP! That was so close. But you see, he's doing 120-something per turn now. Assuming... No, he really does need to be attacking, like, every turn. And I don't want Cain to die, that's why Maria's gonna heal... Oh, come on! Thank God. Maria usually goes before Cain, so that's why I had her using Heal All on him, as opposed to, like, you know, him just using the Power Shield. But instead, Cain's going early now. Maybe that last level he got really changed his turn order, the positioning in the turns. In any case, we're... we're barely hanging on here. Crap. Now you got that off, it's our Falcon Swords are not going to be nearly as useful. Kane's going... yeah, Kane's almost pointless with the... Oh, I can't remember last time he cast defense on us, but we may as well cast increase again just to make sure our defense hasn't gone down. Crap. I figured one of those was coming soon. 
Well, since you're apparently going so fast now, you heal yourself. And you heal yourself. Everyone takes care of themselves, we'll be just fine. Good? Good. Not good. That hurts. That is so bad. Maria needs to get rolling good, oh thank god. I'm so glad she went before the Nauroth did. Ah, come on! How much longer is this going to take? Sure, it would be not nearly as bad if I, you know, did a little more grinding. Speaking of grinding, don't grind outside this area, grind at the Moon Tower because Metal Babbles. Pretty much it, because Metal Babbles. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, let's stay alive. Oh! Well, so much for staying alive. Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. Now it's a matter of... Will Kane get Roland up before Maria can? Or should he just heal himself while Maria... will probably not die from the next hit? Oh, thank god. Got healing in. And yeah, fuck it, just... Go all out. Well, those two are going all out. She's trying to stay alive as best she can. Yes! I was waiting with a bated breath because I was sure that fight was going to end soon. Oh, thank god. At this level, it's not impossible. However, I'll admit I did a test run to see if I should do more grinding. And I died... I ended up dying two turns away from beating him. So... Yeah. It's... 30 is that the point where you can do this fight and have an interesting fight. Oh, thank god. Ha! Fuck you, Hargon, and your castle. Fear the descendants of Roto. Despite our bloodline being kind of weird and... I don't know. Feels like we got a little weaker or something. So you think about the guy in the first game. He was so incredibly powerful all on his own. And here it took three characters to be able to do the kind of thing he could have. Well, let's just cast return. And like any Dragon Quest game, you could go all around the world and talk to everybody and see the everyone's reactions. And you see where they're going to Oh, thank you, you saved the world! Um, wow, that's interesting. We're just gonna undo talking to her. Let's not talk to anybody. Let's just go home. I, I don't know what that was about. I've been told that it's maybe because of the uh, translation patch I'm using that I'm encountering some of these weird graphical glitches and things happening like that. I prefer... wait... Oh, let's still... No, that didn't seem to hurt us at all. Yay, nothing hurts us. Let's just get back to, uh, Larcia. That way my dad can congratulate us on our amazing victory. Move it, priest. Priest. Yay, there we go. So. I... I don't know if I should just cut here and meet you guys back at the castle, or if I should actually show you where Larissa is. It's been a while since we've been there. I'll probably just cut. And by cut, I mean that's worth, that's worth, that's worth, that's worth. Where the hell is this? Oh. I think I might know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're home. Praise be to the Great Three. And everyone's not that what it's kinda of deserted. Hey, that's where everybody is. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this is Oh wow. It's kinda of weird. I I thought that this scene was gonna play out. And so I actually still had to walk for and talk to my father. Dad, do you know how awesome we are? Do you realize what we've done? Oh, man. Um... I wonder what happens if you say no. I think I've always said yes. Because if you say yes, I'm pretty sure you're just like, Oh, yeah, sure, I'll take over as being King Lorisia. I mean, I obviously deserve it. Durr. I'm not saying no. Oh. Uh, but thou must? But thou must. Yay! And I wonder what he's got to say to these two. They were only integral to completing the game. So am I going to be the King of Kings, or am I just the King of Lorisia? Because, uh... I don't know. I don't think that the Prince of Lorisia would make the best king for the entire world. After all... He can't even cast any spells. It's like he can't even read or something. <laughs> and... Night Falls? Huh. Oh. Yay! Fireworks! Well, it reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Mmm, Chrono Trigger. That is an amazing RPG. Which, strangely enough, I would almost considered Chrono Trigger to be the first Square Enix game, because if you think about the dev teams that actually went into making it, even though it's technically Square Soft game, a lot of people from this development team who made the Dragon Quest stuff, like Akira Toriyama who does all the art, and you know him from Dragon Ball Z, he does the art for Chrono Trigger. And they actually got someone other than uh, Uematsu to do the music. There's just a lot of Enix influence into that game. But we'll say that. And now it's going to show us a, like, real of the big events in the game. Like, uh, the embarking on our adventure. And then the Spring of Bravery. Wow. Remember that place? How not threatening it was in retrospect? Like, Actually, how not threatening everything was, except for the uh, Hargon's Castle and the area around Hargon and Rhone. Like, everything up to that point was ends up seeming like a cakewalk when you get to enemies that are just like, Oh yeah, I could like kill you in one turn with a sacrifice spell. Or I can just take off half your HP with Explode At. Or Scorching Breath. Or you can get incredibly unlucky and have, like, four dragons ambush you, and then have them all breathe fire down your throat and you die. Not that I'm speaking from experience. They're actually not. Oh, look, we got the boat! For some reason they didn't show the princess changing from dog to princess. They just showed the dog. Oh, yeah. I kind of feel like he should be an optional boss or something. More if he has anything interesting to say after you kill Hargon. And Malroth. I never thought to go talk to him. Oh yeah, the Grimlin ambush. <laughs> Which way did he go, George? Looking for Rogue the Fastfinger. <laughs> Apparently in the demo they don't find him. Oh yeah, the prince is cursed. But for some reason he's standing up in his bed instead of laying in it, all dying and stuff. Man, you know, for as much as everyone kind of poo-poos on Dragon Quest games for being bland and boring, or, you know, not as story-involved and thrilling like, say, Super Nintendo Final Fantasy games, there's a lot of memorable moments. Like, I didn't think I'd 
actually feel anything for some kind of cut reel, but damn, I'm, I'm actually reminiscing here. Like, I'm just remembering going to all these places and it being awesome. <laughs> Why is Kane dead? <laughs> wow, I never thought... Wow, this is giving me a lot of ideas for things I could do for just seeing dialogue options. Um... Did they just revive Kane by going to the Shrine of Rubus? Hmm. What the... What? What the hell was that? I never checked that gravestone, or tombstone. Where the hell is that? It looks like Tantigo, but... Huh. Weird. Wow, that brings up a lot of questions and things I could try and do. I do have ideas for bonus episodes, but, um... Well... Expect to see those sometime later. Like, a week later or something. God, the original version of this game is so hard. They've made so many improvements to make it easier here. And I want to point out that if you live in Japan and for some reason are watching this and want to relive these games, you can go and find the Wii Remake that has Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 for the NES, and there's Super Nintendo versions all on the same Wii disc that came out sometime in September. If, for some weird reason, there's someone in Japan watching, or someone that can actually read Japanese and has an imported Wii, you can import that game. I highly suggest it because they're really awesome. I almost feel like importing it just to get the Collector's Edition box and stuff like that, even though I wouldn't be able to play the games at all. Well, no. I could play them because I don't need to read the Japanese. I actually know what's going on besides a witch. In any case, that's all for this series, except for the bonus episodes I'll be posting later this week. Or maybe in, within a week, we'll say. So, class we're signing out. I will see you guys later.